So we're in McLean, Virginia, and um, <clears throat> we're with our friends Ross and Anna. We're at their house, and they have some neighbors, elderly folks, who um, we're going to go meet and see how we can help them out today. So let's see what happens. So what just happened there, Brian? Well, Denny, sometimes things don't always work out as we would hope. Um, some strange guy came to the door, smoking a cigarette, blowing the smoke in my face, and said, now we got nothing for you. Basically, kind of leave us alone. Which is all right. I mean, I wasn't we, we impression tried. That she was by, that she lived by herself. Yeah, I thought she was a widow. Um, I don't know. I'm a bit confused. But, um... Hey, Denny, you want to see what we're doing here? We are learning, or what we are doing, what, okay. Right now we're pulling uh, the roots and getting the roots out of the garden. But we are actually learning a great deal about our world, actually, more than what we were bargaining for. Well, the main thing is that we're in Bill Smith's backyard weeding his tomato patch. Bill Smith is an army guy, 91 years old, and because of Parkinson's, doesn't have the muscular strength to tend his garden, but that doesn't mean he wouldn't enjoy having one. And um, the way to get the job done is to just do it, so we're doing it. I, will, I would say that in the years I've known Bill, I would best describe our relationship by saying he tolerates me. If you want to help someone, the best thing to do is just help them. Don't wait for someone to ask you for help and putting them in a silly position. You can tell what they want, figure out a way to give it to them. If you can see what they need, do it for them. Hey, my name is Bill Smith. I'm retired from the Army for more years than I can count. And I had a short stint with the Fairfax County government. For a long time, I've been moving from one place to another. And sometimes with help, sometimes without help. I think back to the days when I was a young man, and that was more years ago than I care to mention. I used to go from Annapolis, Maryland, to Severn School, a prep school for the Naval Academy, about 15 miles from Annapolis. There was a urban trolley that ran to this school, which I could take, but several of us decided we would try to hitchhike every day from the city of Annapolis up to, up to Southern School. And much to our surprise, it worked very well. We had a standard place where we were picked up, and some of them were picked up frequently by the same driver. But the drivers were by the same force, and that was they wanted somebody to listen to the good stories. Some of them had some pretty raw ones, some of them had some very funny ones, but they were almost all interesting. And they, partic they were particularly interesting to the guys who were spieling them, because that's what they picked us up for, they, so they could talk about things they had done, the places they had been things they should have gotten for doing what they did or didn't do. You'd like to go with us? <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to go with you, but I think I would slow your arrival down <laughs> on the West Coast by more than just a couple of weeks. <laughs> well, we'd carry all your stuff for you. You're welcome to come. <laughs>